Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I'm going to be presenting you a very, very special video. Um, this entire week, I've been thinking, what can I do that's a little bit more personal, a little bit fun and easy to do, and something that you can just do at home, have a little you time. So I thought to myself, hmm, why not share with you guys my mom's beauty secrets? So, <laughs> in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you my mom's beauty secrets, well, some of them, and that involves doing beauty masks. So, if you guys are interested in seeing how to keep yourself young, beautiful, forever, then keep on watching. But before we go on, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, but you still have a chance please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family. And if you have any questions or you have any beauty hacks that you'd like to share with me, then drop a comment down below. Hi guys, my name is Eric Glam. Welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to be doing this video guys because Ever since I was growing up, I used to see my mom, my aunts, especially my grandma, do different hacks and different remedies that you used to call on our family. And these were all made with things grown in your house. We had our home garden with different herbs and stuff. We used to use uh, those herbs for teas, um, face masks, for this, for that. My family is a Hispanic family, like most Hispanic families. We believe in a lot of self healing things that you can make at home for most issues in our lives. <laughs> it's weird, but that happens a lot. So one of them is doing beauty hacks. And I used to see my mom, especially my grandma, do a lot of face masks that were super awesome, very easy to make, and they used to go on for days on how good these were, uh, the benefits that these had and as I was getting more into beauty I started doing more research learning more about how true those things were and I actually found out that a lot of the stuff that they said was true and maybe they didn't really know why but these are some of the things that were carried on from generation to generation so in today's video guys I will be showing you three simple and easy to do face masks with things that you could just find at home and if you don't have them at home, very easy to find at your local grocery store. So if you guys are ready to see this, then I am ready to show you. The first mask we're gonna do, guys, is the mask that I like to do whenever I want to help me clear out some acne or just simply cleanse my face from impurities. These are the three ingredients that we're gonna be using, guys, for this mask. The first and the main ingredient of this mask is gonna be honey. Honey, guys, has been used in a lot of different things, and this has been used in modern ages and also ancient ages. Um, honey has been known for having a lot of anti-inflammatory properties, which is really, really good for people who have sensitive skin. Um, this is really, really good also to help you cleanse your skin and hydrate your skin while you use it. And also, this is rich in antioxidants, so if you do have acne, this will help you cleanse your pores and also help you prevent uh, new acne to come on your skin. We will be using lime juice, which also has a lot of vitamins, antioxidants, and helps you cleanse your face. And of course, we will be using oatmeal, which is a great, great exfoliator. It helps you cleanse your face very gently, and it is also anti-inflammatory, so it helps you calm your face whenever you are sunburned, or it aches, or it itches, or simply if you have sensitive skin. To make this mask, we will be using one tablespoon of oatmeal. Make sure that it is ground and granulated so that it is super fine, very easy to manage. In that way, all the nutrients and all the ingredients that come in the oatmeal are easy to apply and much easier for your skin to absorb. We will be using half a tablespoon of natural lime juice and we will also use half a tablespoon of honey. And we will just mix it very, very well until we create the desired consistency. The next mask I'm gonna do for you guys is basically an alternative to the other mask that we already did. This mask is a great alternative simply because some people may have sensitive skin 
or maybe the lime juice from the other mask can be a little drying or maybe a little bit irritating for some people. So in this mask, we are replacing the lime juice for yogurt, which is classic Greek yogurt, natural yogurt, no flavor, no nothing else. This mask is great to calm your skin, uh, perfect for those who have dry and sensitive skin, and also just amazing to bring a lot of nutrients in your skin. We know that honey is packed with antibacterial properties, rich in antioxidants, and it really just does a good job at cleansing your pores. Uh, yogurt, we also know that is rich in calcium, protein, it also has a lot of vitamin D, and overall just great, great things for your face. It helps you hydrate and also has a little bit of a toner in it too to help you tonify your face. And also we will be using our oatmeal. We can never part with our oatmeal. Oatmeal is great for our cleansing and just lightly scrubbing and lightly exfoliating our face. To make this mask, guys, we will be using a whole tablespoon of oatmeal. Make sure it's ground and very fine. We'll also use a tablespoon of natural Greek yogurt and we'll use half a tablespoon of natural organic honey. If for some reason you feel that the mask is a little too thick, you may add another half tablespoon of honey. You may create your desired consistency. Once you guys mixed all the ingredients, you guys can see that the consistency is not too thick, but also not too liquidy, very easy to handle. The next mask I'm gonna show you guys is the last one, and this mask is just an amazing mask because it really has a lot of benefits, and it's a mask that has been used in a lot of different cultures because of its anti-aging properties. So we will be using our honey, which is basically an ingredient that we've used in all our masks. I love honey for a lot of reasons. You've heard it from me, <laughs> no need to repeat them. The star ingredient of this mask is basically ginger. Ginger is known to have over 40 antioxidants which help to combat anti-aging or help you with anti-aging. Overall, just an amazing ingredient, guys. A lot of cultures have used this ingredient, not only for that purpose, but it also helps to minimize the appearance of scars, stains on your face from acne, tissue, um, just overall a great ingredient for your face. Um, a lot of people say that this ingredient helps them feel more hydrated and just makes their face feel more soft and just more full of life. And we'll also use lime juice, which is also a great antioxidant and helps to purify your pores. So to make this mask, guys, we're gonna be using a whole tablespoon of ginger, natural ginger. Make sure that you guys cut it very thin, very, very fine. You guys can use a cheese grater to make this. I really like doing this because it does pull out all its natural juices and its natural um, properties and just brings everything out of it. We will be using half a teaspoon of natural lime juice and we'll also use a half tablespoon of organic honey. And we're just gonna mix guys until we create the desired consistency. If you feel that the consistency is a little bit too liquidy, you can add a little bit more honey. However, I like it like this, uh, that way it just seeps in into your pores a little bit better. The juice is actually what comes out of the ginger, so that is the good stuff. All right, you guys, that is it for me. I just shared with you three beauty secrets from my mom, from my mother, from my family that you guys can use on your skincare, that you guys can make just at home with very easy to find ingredients. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very special for me to share with you a little bit of me with you, and if you guys really use those masks and love them, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, um, drop a comment down below. If you have any, any beauty secrets or any beauty hacks that you do in your culture, in your traditions, also I would love, love to learn. I love to try different things and learn about different cultures and different uh, techniques that people use in their beauty regimen. So. If you guys have anything to share with me, don't forget to contact me. I will also leave all my social media handles up here. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Until next time. Mwah.